evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years for our main event of the evening. 15 rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Muhammad Ali is on his way to the ring right now, and you can see how excited he is for this one. Lots of confidence. The Warriors ring walk is very interesting here. This isn't over-the-top emotion. This isn't a guy with an intense, glaring stare. Just a guy going to do his job. at all times. Let's touch him up. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Teddy, I assume many times in your career, you were instructing a fighter that was going to face a fighter who just had the longer reach, flat out had it. What did you tell him? What did you try to cement in his head leading up to that fight? You know, sometimes you get caught up when you're fighting a fighter with those great, outstanding physical attributes like tallness and height, reach advantage. You start to think that only one way is the way to go. You got to force yourself to work your way in. I remind myself and I remind my fighter that you can step out and make the taller man give up his height. Walk him into traps. Protect the midsection. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Solid straight right hand. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. And he clinches yet again. Oh, I like the way he went to the body with that hook. Watch that! to dismiss that body shot. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. That's a huge left hand from Muhammad Ali. That's it. Ten seconds to go in this round. End of round one. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. The Warriors cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it 
and we could say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans could look at it and say that, but the fighter must be steady. The same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Here we go. Round two is underway. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. It's all right. Just keep moving. him with a headshot. Well done by Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Ali's got a way of just getting away from that punch. <laughs> Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Able to cover up that gut. Teddy, there's a certain fire that rages in Muhammad Ali. A lot of it has to do with the early days and some things he faced growing up in Louisville. Yeah, I mean, he's a sensitive person. He's a person that takes that sensitivity and he puts it somewhere in a place, as you said, sort of in a furnace that can burn strong. You know, this was during a time where this country was... Uh, not at his proudest time, the way that it behaved towards black people, towards African Americans. And he remembers that, and he uses that in a positive way, in an athletic way, in a way where it just prospers him career-wise. that overhand right able to land another power shot early on here teddy does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace no i don't think so if he keeps at this pace he's not going to be around to worry fires off the hook look at that and he's holding Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Final 10 seconds. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Muhammad Ali. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Round comes to an end. And that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic. And that was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you see in proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. I need you to double up the jab and follow with two, three more punches. Right? All right, listen. I need to create more counters, okay? All the eyes are on him to start this round. The Warriors' legs look just a little shaky, but keep in mind, he barely survived that last round. No, but keep one other thing in mind. I agree with you, Joe, but he's been here before. He's very experienced. If anyone knows how to get out of this, he does. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Muhammad Ali. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Ali's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. 
Little volume punching to the body there. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. We always see great athletes week in and week out, but Teddy, what sport do you think can produce the best boxers? Well, believe it or not, basketball, everybody would say football. We saw two tall Jones. He got demolished by little guys. We saw Gastineau. He got demolished. We saw Highsmith. He got demolished. A lot of oh, that's got to hurt. He lands the hook, and now he lands on the ground. One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. He's tired. And bang and away he goes. Oh, and now the can he get up after going down a second time? One, two, three, four, five, six. The ref is stopping this fight. The Warriors' night has ended early here. Unable to go the distance, he couldn't rise up and beat the count. Muhammad Ali is able to come up with a knockout victory, and he does it that early in the fight? And does it with one shot that he never saw. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside.